head over to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps with the show. Today's video is also brought to you by... And the like button. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, what's up, Planeswalkers Theric 6? Back with some more Magic the Gather Arena. Today we're going to be playing an infinite deck. Uh, and yes, you are not visually impaired. Well, you might be. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> this is a deck that I made on stream called Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I, I'm not going to make a video on it, but I will post, it, post this to my Aether Hub account. And if you want to play a meme, you, you can play a meme. This is based on a movie. If you're really interested to see how this deck got made, absolutely check out my stream VOD uh, over on Twitch. It was stupid. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to play an infinite deck. Uh, so we have Meme Make Infinite Mana. And this was a deck that I fought on stream. If you want to see that, once again, go to my Twitch channel. I, I stream on t Saturdays during... Not school. I stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And possibly Mondays. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but essentially, I had this... I didn't get the true list, but I had um, an approximation recreated by a uh, viewer uh, named Query. And this is this is kind of my edits to that. So the the combination is with Zerda, it'll, it makes it so that active abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. Cool. Okay. Things cost two less. Sure. Faber Elder can tap to add two plus mana. Okay. If we go over here and look at the sideboard, we have a card called Gauntlets of Light. This gives the creature two and a white, untap this creature. So, you have Zerta out, you have Faber Elder out. Then, you get Gauntlets of Light with Fae of Wishes. You can't play this in the main deck because this... This is a uh, a permanent which does not have an activated ability. So you can't play it in the main. Should be okay. But you can go get it. You put it on Faber Elder. And then you tap Faber Elder to get... If, if it's literally just Zer Zerta, Faber Elder uh, out, then you get green, white, and red. You pay only the white. <laughs> I did this, although my hand was over here. Um, you pay only the white. This, this is still this is still a bad hand sign for like a decent amount of population. <laughs> Whatever. You pay one mana, you still have two floating, you untap it, you tap it again, you repeat. You have infinite red and green. Um technically you're gonna want to hopefully play the Fave Wishes so you can also have blue. And then you get, you know, a good old fashioned where the hell am I? Um you go get a finale of devastation to win on the spot, or a finale of glory to win the following turn. Um, that's, that's the combination as is normal. You also have the ability to use high alert. Um, high alert work, works with Zerda, Faber Elder, and itself. Obviously, um, this will give you the blue mana as well. So you have to pay a little bit more, but you're still going to be getting, essentially, you're still getting infinite mana. Um, Biomancer's Familiar does not work with high alert, but it does work with Gauntlets of Light. Um, because it's only activated abilities of creatures, this doesn't give it to the creatures. It, it just is the ability itself. So... This works if in case Zerda dies, so that's, you know, nice, I suppose. Um, everything else in the deck kind of just is meant to support it. We have Fave Wishes to get stuff on the side. We have plenty of ramp creatures to make sure we have um, the ability to get to our lands. Um, we have Omen of the Sea, another card to just be around so that Faber Elder can uh, make blue mana. It also is helpful when we start getting infinite mana so that we can, you know, draw cards. <laughs> Um, Wolf, Wolf Willow Haven, jeez, um, it's just another essentially ramp spell that I can use my infinite mana for just in case I need to do something. Teferi, it's a good card. It makes it so it can't be counterspelled and my combo can't be, um, interacted with at instant speed. And of course we have Shadow of the Sky. Shadow of the Sky is whatever. Notably, I don't have the full actual list. Uh, by the way, some of these cards are just in here to be in here, essentially. Um, one of the things I was actually considering that I realized I didn't keep around is Thassa's Intervention. I, I feel like Thassa's Intervention might be helpful uh, just as a way to grab more um, grab like more cards just in case I need another um, card out of the main. We're going to play this in play mode because this is a meme ass combo deck. I'm not a combo player. I am playing this deck because I'm sure people will love it. I hope that it works. If I can't get it to work within the, the general 30-ish minutes, I will fight Sparky until I do. 
Um, so here we have an okay hand, actually. All we need is a um, thing out of the sideboard. Racking with the mulligan. Racking with another mulligan. And the concession. Well, that's fine. It's possible I shouldn't be playing two Biomancer's Familiars in the main. It's possible I should just be playing one. Because it really is meant to just be an additional thing. Maybe instead I should just be playing Tamios? Like, that's the thing. I don't know, because I didn't I didn't get a chance to get the person's actual deck list. Um, but still, we have Zerda, we have Faber Elder. Seems fine. We're going to keep this. We get to Temple. I don't need another Faber Elder. I just need... I need a Faber, which is essentially... So turn two, we play a Paradise Druid. Sprite Dragon, okay. So I'm hoping this deck doesn't have... Burn Spiels. Or, er, Counter Spiels. So I have Familiar. I'm trying to decide essentially if I want to use Zerta before I play Elder. I don't think I do. I think I want to play Elder first. I'm just generally speaking worried about dying and whatnot. Oh, but yeah, I just need Fate of Wishes and enough, and enough time, essentially. Okay. Just two is nice. Temple of Enlightenment. Um... I don't really want to open my Paradise Druid up to being shocked. But I guess they can shock Faber Elder anyway. So... Sh hmm. Or maybe I just play Biomancer's Familiar this turn. Oh, this would be shockable. Okay, if I'm gonna do this, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna do this then. And, like, just double up. So I have even more mana. This one, my familiar also has... Also lets this be a 3-3. Three, three, instead of just a 2-2. Uh, two, two. Crackling Drake. Okay. The flying is a little frightening, but luckily... I'm not in too much danger yet. Incubation Druid is pretty much just like whatever. Um, Incubation Druid you technically can also um, go infinite with. Um, it's just essentially just another backup. Um, I'm going to just play it, I guess. Yeah, so at this point, I need high alerts or fave wishes. Either of those works. I'll be on five. Uh, what are we going to cast? Yeah, either high alert or fave wishes could win. Uh-oh. If they're going for my face, that means I think I'm probably dead. Alright, well, if I'm not dead, I have one turn. I am dead. Curses. I'll be making changes. Shut up. It's fine. Um. Yeah, I think I only need one Biomancer's Familiar on the sideboard. And I think I want another Omen of the Seas. Because I really, I really need to, um... I really need to be able to get to my good stuff as soon as I can. So I think I'll do that. We'll play another game. I'm going to try to go infinite in an actual game. I might not be able to. Going against Yorian. 
Um, I will keep this. Yorian. I don't know what um, what kind of Yorian deck this is. Next round I can play Faber Elder. Oh, this is a Thought Erasure, isn't it? Nope, Guild Globe. Okay, that's fine. So I can play an Elder in Temple. I'm gonna have I'm gonna keep the other Elder for redundancy. I'm relatively worried that uh, I might not have a board. Um, this is looking like it's Esper, Elspeth's Nightmare, and my Elder. And this is why I kept the redundant one. I'm not incredibly confident that I'll be able to win this game. I didn't want them to know about my fave wishes. Okay. Just only have to see from them. I don't have enough mana. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I have enough mana, right? Four, that's another three? No, I don't. Shit. I also don't like the fact that they just did that. I think I just have to go for it. If they have a counter spell, I think I'd probably just concede. Can add three mana. I just need to hope my opponent doesn't have a removal spell. Okay, just someone to see. That's fine. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Maybe I should have saved my gauntlets in hand, but... Damn it, I should have saved the gauntlet in hand! No longer stand by and walk. <sighs> oh, I've done the hero thing before. Should have saved the gauntlet in hand.
might be a bad idea. Sure. Kill the globe. Okay, can kill one of my geese. Well, at least my opponent's tapped out. God damn it, okay. I have... I can play this. This will tap for three. I won't, I won't have enough mana. Shit. Maybe I just play Fave Wishes so this is... This can't die to a reset Yorian. Uh, if nothing else... Next turn, I should be able to play High Alert. Plus Zerta and win? I guess I wouldn't win. Uh, yikes. I fuck god damn it, they can take my high alert, son of a bitch. Alright. I think I need Temu. Damn it. I I guess I should have played high alert. I totally forgot about that. Fuck. It's so hard playing combo decks. You get to reset a lot, you get to draw a lot, scry a lot, I don't care. You get to kill my fave wishes, I guess. They have a board wipe, they have a board wipe. I'm just... Damn, there, there were two really big plays there that I, I messed up. I should have played the high alert. What if Kai kills my Zerta? I'm just gonna concede. Okay, we're gonna pull a bit of an audible. This video might be long. Cause I wanna I wanna I wanna show the combo off. And the thing is I didn't I don't actually like know what my, my opponent's deck was. Uh, so we're gonna go up to three high alerts. Biomancer Familiar, as I, I still think is relatively unimportant. Um Shadow of the Sky. 
I don't think it's that big of a deal. Just fake machines open. Occupation druid. There, bro. I like. I think this is what I want. It gives me a higher chance of, cause like this still works if I have, Fey high or Faber Elder High Alert and Zerda. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try this. Just it, it just increases my density of combo. I want to win, dang it! Only I didn't say dang it. Okay. I'll keep this. We have turn two. Probably just play this on turn three, I guess. Healer's Hawk? Okay. Burbs. That might be helpful. I don't know if Burbs plays... Okay, this looks like it might be Mono White Burbs. Plains Druid. Okay, we might, we might potentially, and I say this, potentially, we might potentially be able to win this one. Okay, so it is, it is bluish, birds with blue. Oh, another high alert. Um, I think I just want Faber Elder at this point, right? Yeah, so I'm going to Faber Elder, play Temple of Plenty. I don't need that. Next turn, I can play High Alert into Zerda, I think, and I should be able to go infinite. I am worried about a Counterspell for my opponent. I'm no longer worried about a Counterspell because my opponent decided to play a land before they did the thing with Jig. Okay. I can play this. I'll add three to my mana pool. Alright, I have infinite mana now. God damn it, I keep doing this though. It's infinite mana! Alright, so I can do this. Cool, my opponent just conceded. Awesome! <laughs> Sometimes you just make infinite mana, and you win. I'm counting that, by the way. <laughs> I didn't technically win, but I technically won. <laughs> but yes, I, I'm certain there's a better way to make this deck. I'm not a Johnny player. I do not know how to make combo decks. Bara. <laughs> oh, goodness me. This hand is bad. We have no green. This hand is... Fine, actually. Sure. Um, we drop the omen, I think. Yeah. Uh, and play a temple turn one. Um, sure, I'll keep this. 
Turn two, turn three. Yeah, I'll keep this. I think I need that extra land. So once again, I can go infinite. We'll see what my opponent does about it. I kept it on top. Uh, I mean, this this might be a control deck, and uh, you know, I, I might just not be able to to win or anything. Uh, something I should note about playing combo decks is, so, oh, okay, never mind. Sometimes you just lose, right? When you're playing a combo deck, it's not about winning often. It's about when you win. It's it's awesome, right? It's it's this wild thing. Um, so opponent's on just guy cycles. Um, should make my life a teensy bit easier. I'm actually going to include more green, I think. I'll play a Favor Elder. So next turn, I think I should be able to have infinite mana. Uh, whether or not that's actually going to matter remains to be seen. They play Ominous Seas? Sure. So they might just, you know, concede. I don't think they will. I'm I'm obviously not blocking that. I will, I will take the one damage, thank you. Um, so I can play this. I'm going to play this. And I play. Sure, that's fine. Does this get countered? Sure, that's fine. You fool, I have infinite mana! God damn it. <laughs> Keep forgetting. I'm just gonna keep doing this for a little bit. Oh, am I dumb? Am I able to just do this? Oh, I am. Alright, well that's a lot easier. There's no way for me... No, because this is all of one mana type. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with this. Then play Faber Elder. And end the turn. So I made infinite mana. I did nothing. So I'll actually have to win this one. You're playing Shadow the Sky? <laughs> Alright, so I guess we lost. What? Why would you be playing Shadow the Sky? I guess for nonsense like me. Fucking Shadow the Sky, how dare you? Whatever. I can still win. Oops. I believe in myself and that's all that matters. I mean, that's not all that matters, like, at all. So I think we've lost this one. But for what it's worth, when you're playing a, a dumb deck like this, winning winning a single game is kind of all you need. Okay, got a Fae of Wishes. Neutralize? No? No, uh, no neutralize. I get two cards with this, right? So I think I'm probably just going to get a Thassa's Intervention. I'll just play this, I guess. But I'd probably just cycle, cycle. Oh, you know what? I, I, that was a dumb. I probably should have just played this Fae of Wishes without uh, shocking myself. Because I assume they're going to cycle, cycle. And get a big ass 8-8. Eight, eight. Luckily it does not have triple. Okay. All right.
right. Um, well, I got a five. Although I... Well, it should only go to seven. Wouldn't matter against a big octopus anyway. Yeah, this is a good old uh, concession. Look, I won a single one of the games. Did I technically win with the full combo? No, because I didn't have a way to kill my opponent. But my opponent saw infinite mana and they said, nah. Um, I, I could have technically been mean and just continually tapped and untapped to make infinite mana. Um, obviously, the deck needs tweaks. Uh, I'm hoping that this isn't just like some streamer's deck. Because I, I saw someone uses some play mode. And I thought it was really cool. Uh, I, I let them kill me. Um, I even gave them a nice. So it, it probably could use some stuff. I I don't think I need Biomaster Familiar in the main deck at all. Um, same with the Shadow of the Skies. Like, I think, I think this is a deck where I don't actually want to do... Like, to destroy the board. Like, obviously you'd be like, well, obviously you have a bunch of creatures. But, you know, sometimes you just fall behind and you need to survive. Um... But I think instead, I think you probably want, like, a Tameo here. Um, get out the Biomancer Familiar. And probably just main deck two Thassa's Interventions. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, obviously, this isn't the deck that I played with. So it's going to be different in, uh, in the actual video um, description and whatnot. But... I think put two of these in here. Uh, the mana base has been fine. I don't think I want more or fewer lands. Um, I think I'm gonna add Thassa's intervention. I can probably just cut a single Omen of the Sea because I really liked having high alert at this quantity. Yeah, this way Thassa's intervention can get us to Fave Wishes in order to get. Finale, or something. Uh, technically, you could use. Um, hmm. I mean, red green are going to be the ones, like by themselves. So maybe instead of Thassa's. The, the issue is just like, you don't you don't really want. Um. Excuse me. You don't really want to have any card that's just never good. Like, Thassa's Intervention can at least be used as a counterspell. Um, oh, I went too far. Oops. Um, but, you know, it might be correct to just play um, Perforos' Intervention or Electrodominance or something. Um, because red and green are going to be the ones that you get a lot. But I think I think for right now, Thassa's Intervention is kind of what I'm sticking to. Um, this, I would advise against playing in best of three. Just because it'd be really hard to bring in cards. It wouldn't be hard to bring in cards. It'd be very hard to take out cards. So I do think this is just a, a best of one format deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. But this is what I'm going to leave all of you with. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zin for the continued support. Um, as well as Natalie for the uh, the new support. Uh, Silent Strat also was a newer supporter that I... I think I forgot to mention, so I'll mention them both now. Uh, if you'd like to join them and support the show, um, and it does mean a lot, you can find links to that down in the description below. Uh, as well as, like, a bunch of other good stuff, because I have the best descriptions in the game. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, go and tap that like button, add subscription to your manifold, cast a comment in the comment section down below. Check out my Twitch, where I stream on Saturdays, and you can see the VODs um, for a while. I don't know how long my VODs stay up, because I think that's, like, some sort of Twitch thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But... Until next time, I will be one.